Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you guys a comparison and how far along we really are when it comes to OEM products versus uh, third party products. And it's really interesting because this is one of the arguments that they're making for right to repair is that we can't produce a product that's as good as the OEM product, but that's not true. It's definitely not true anymore. Modern manufacturing has caught up and this is a very, very good example. Now mind you, I've even been using the calipers to check thicknesses of plastic and stuff just to be sure that it is an equivalent product. And uh, let me assure you guys that this guy is an equivalent product. So uh, this was sent to me by the guys over at Med10 USA. They're based out there in California. Really interesting, I did a video on the uh, orange dot cables and uh, those are of course sold by Med10 and they reached out to me and um, they asked if I'd be interested in seeing some of their other products. I said, oh, absolutely, let's do this. Um, so this is one of the first other products that they've sent to me and uh, normally if it wasn't for one being so dirty, you'd have to really look to notice that this product here is actually a third party product. And there's a few identifiers. One of them is MedFusion 3500. MedFusion is of course trademarked, so they can't put that on there, but uh, they put 3500. And then also, you see it says Smith's, and up here it's just a blank spot. So they can't use the Smith's name either because trademarked. But when it comes to uh, the product itself, they are almost completely identical. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. So one of the things that you'll see over here that this guy here is ABS plastic and you can see the date code for it, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, there is one difference that I've noticed between this one here. You can see it's got all the rubber seals and everything already installed. There is of course a little uh, inside screen protector that you have to pull off when you go to uh, mount this top cover. But um, IMED just released a video showing you how to replace the top cover and it is such a well done video that I am not even going to come close to trying to uh, duplicate their efforts. So that's why this is not going to be a how to video, it's more about the product itself and showing you how far along we really are when it comes to manufacturing. Um, but check out IMED's video. Um, they show you step by step how to change out this top cover for the MedFusion series. But take a look here. You can see it's got, uh, this is a injection molded part. And the reason we know it's injection molded is because you see these little spots right here, right here. Those are for injection pins. And what happens is what, after it's molded and the mold opens up, injection pins push it out. And that's what those indents are from. And on this one here, you can see the same pins, even though it doesn't have the ABS markings, it's almost definitely ABS plastic. I've checked for the studs that are pre-mounted. They're excellent. I've checked the centering of the glass. It looks excellent. Uh, the fasteners, everything is exactly how I would expect. Um, the, the only difference that I've seen is it looks over here like there's more plastic on uh, each of these uh, studs than over here. So you can see with them next to each other. It looks like this one's got more plastic than this one, but if you look at it even better, you'll notice that this one here has more um, brass. So the brass on these is actually a larger diameter than the brass on those, which allows them to have deeper cut veins into the brass so it adheres to the plastic better. And if you guys have ever had that situation where you, um, you go ahead and tighten something down and the brass breaks loose and starts spinning, you will get that because the little indents between the brass that are supposed to mold into the plastic, they're not very proud, um, which means you know they don't stick up very far. And on this one here, as I've been looking at it, it actually looks like these ones here have more material to create that interface between the brass and the plastic. So it actually might be an improvement, even though it looks like the each of these studs has less plastic on it, it could be an improvement because having more brass gives them more material to uh, adhere to if they do it right. But uh, everything else 
looks absolutely fine between the two. This one here you can tell is really dirty and really old. But um, the fasteners are all torqued down. I've checked them all. The, um, the rubber seals are all installed and nice and neat. Very cool. Um, it almost looks like the handle is thicker by a little bit, maybe half a millimeter on the uh, aftermarket than the OEM. But uh, other than that, guys, the control panel on this uh, aftermarket part feels fantastic. I mean, each of these buttons is real solid. So I know iMed sells these, and of course, the guys over here at Med10 USA, they sell them too. Good on them. It's an excellent product. I've checked everything with the caliper just to make sure that there's continuity between the two parts. It should mold completely up and you would never even notice if it wasn't for a few of the identifiers being different. It looks like it's an OEM part. Good to go. So Med10, thank you for sending that over. I appreciate the ability to review the product. Looks like it's really good. And uh, that just goes to show you where we're at when it comes to manufacturing versus OEM. They can create a part that's as good, if not better, than OEM. And you know, if the OEM was more reasonable with some of their part prices, then that wouldn't exist, would it? But here we are. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. And uh, I got some other products that I'm gonna be reviewing very soon. So stay tuned.